The year was 2006. Two space rocks, Max and Fizzy, were racing by in the sky. Just then, Max stopped and breathlessly looked at Fizzy and said, Hey, have you heard? Have you heard? Pluto is not a planet anymore. And saying that, Max zipped away. Hey, listen, what about Pluto? What did you say? He's not a planet anymore. Listen, listen. But Max was long gone by then. How can Pluto not be a planet anymore? Thought Fizzy. He's my best friend. I have to go and check this with the sun. So Fizzy went to meet the sun. The sun was a hot ball of fire. And Fizzy stood right next to the sun and said, uh, uh, um, uh, Excuse me, sun. Max tells me that Pluto is not a planet anymore. Would you know anything about it? Oh, yes, Fizzy. Pluto is not a planet anymore. Astronomers on Earth believe that he doesn't meet all the requirements of being a planet. So he is a dwarf planet. Dwarf planet? But, but Pluto is so well behaved. He could have never even hurt anyone. Why? 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 The sun? Why? Oh, no, 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 no. He hasn't done anything wrong. Astronomers on Earth believe that to be a planet, you need three things. First, you need to orbit the sun which Pluto does. Second, you need to have a spherical shape, which Pluto has. And third, you need to use your gravity to clear your orbit of all the asteroids, which Pluto does not. Which is why Pluto is a dwarf planet. Oh my goodness, that sounds complicated. But somebody will have to tell Pluto. Oh, he'll be so heartbroken. Son, would you be kind enough to tell him? Oh no, Fizzy. You are a good friend. I think you should go to Pluto and tell him about it. So Fizzy decided to go all the way to Pluto and tell him about this. But he also thought that he might want to take some advice from the eight planets on the way. So first, he went to Mercury. Mercury was the closest planet to the sun in the solar system. Hi, speedy one, said Fizzy to Mercury. I'm going to meet Pluto. You know, he's not a planet anymore. I have to tell him that. Would you have any idea how I should go about it? Oh, hi, Fizzy. Well, even I'm small, like Pluto is. But at least he has three moons. I have none. Boo -hoo 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 sulked Mercury. He wasn't of much help. So Pluto decided to go on to Venus. Venus was hot and Fizzy was a little scared to ask him, but he mustered all courage and he went and he said, uh, Hi, hot one. Um, I, I'm going to meet Pluto. You know, he's not a planet anymore. Uh, how should I tell him that? <laughs> go away. And don't bother me with such petty things, said Venus and looked around hotly. How rude, thought Fizzy, but he carried on. A uh, high Earth, you know, I'm going to meet Pluto. He's not a planet anymore. Oh, I know about it. Who are you telling this to? The International Astronomical Union lives inside me. And I get to know everything they decide about the solar system first. And listen, I don't have time for all this. I have a very important meeting to run to. Bye. Oh, how pricey, thought Fizzy. Next, he met Mars. Hi, red one. You know, I'm going to meet Pluto. And you know what? Uh, he's not a planet anymore. Would you know as to how I could... Uh, hi, Fizzy. Bye, Fizzy. You know what? I'm very busy. I have something important to discuss with my two moons. See you later, alligator. Fizzy was very upset. He just didn't have any ideas. Next, he went to Jupiter. But Jupiter wasn't of much help either because, well, he was all gas. 
Hi, Fizzy, said Jupiter. Oh, you know what? I have so many moons. Na, 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 na. I have so many moons. Na, 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 na. And I have the biggest moon. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know, Jupiter. You know what? I'm, I'm going to meet uh, Pluto. Oh, Pluto is small. Na, 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 na. Fizzy decided to move on. Hi, Saturn. Hi, Saturn, said Fizzy. But she didn't take any notice of Fizzy. She was busy polishing her rings and batting her eyelids. Next, Fizzy went to Uranus. But Uranus was much too cold. Hi, hi Uranus, said the icy gas giant. Next, Fizzy went to Neptune. But Neptune was having a bad weather day. Ooh, ooh, there was a storm happening at Neptune. Fizzy decided to stay away from Neptune. But now he had covered all the eight planets. But nobody had given him any piece of advice. What would he tell Pluto? He was right at Pluto. So Fizzy decided to well tell him the truth. Hi Pluto, you know on my way here to meet you, I met all the eight planets of the solar system. Well, some of them were too pricey about their rings, while others were too full of their moons. Some of them were in a big hurry, while some had very urgent matters to take care of. Some of them were very hot, while others were very cold. Some had a storm coming. But you know what, Pluto? None of them is as nice as you. Oh, Fizzy, that is such a nice thing to say. But you know what, Fizzy? I have my weaknesses too. The International Astronomical Union on Earth think that I am not big enough to clear my orbit, which is why they've demoted me to a dwarf planet. You knew? Oh yes, I knew about it. I heard about it. But the good news is that not all astronomers think like that. And you never know, one day I may get my status back as a planet. Fizzy smiled. Pluto went on. Fizzy, you know what? Small or big, it doesn't matter. I am happy with myself. I love myself the way I am. Fizzy smiled again. Pluto may be small, but he surely was the strongest and the wisest.